Uh, to Egypt, where the trial of the former information minister has been adjourned. Anas Alfiki accused uh, of a number of things, things like granting sports rights to private TV companies, squandering state funds, uh, all to do with uh, television uh, rights in Egypt. The cases were actually broadcast live when they were ongoing in response to continued protests for greater transparency. We'll check in with Ayman Mohidin now, who's live in Cairo for us. First of all, the adjournment. Why? Any reason? Uh, I'm sorry, Kamal, can you repeat the question? Oh, you're having trouble hearing us. Just wondering about this adjournment. How, uh, any, any information given, any more information given about that? Well, the Minister of Information was facing charges, as you mentioned, on issues of public, squandering of public funds, and more importantly, having to do with the rights of uh, various channels, satellite channels that are essentially being given permission to broadcast uh, without going through essentially the proper uh, procedures and paying the proper uh, fines. It's a, it's a bit of a complicated case here in Egypt, but nonetheless, it was one of great significance symbolically uh, for Egyptians for the first time to see this man standing in front of a judge. You saw him there in his white uh, overalls that were given to him, but more importantly, because he was also considered the architect of the regime's propaganda as the Minister of Information, he had a tremendous amount of influence about what ordinary Egyptians saw and read on a daily basis. So for him to be seen today in a courtroom for the first time, uh, certainly making it that much more important in meeting one of the demands of the protests, which was for these trials to be done in a more transparent and public way to give assurance and confidence to the public that justice was being served. Uh, other political news, Eamon, is the big cabinet reshuffle, which I'm reading here, has been uh, postponed now. That is, and certainly a very significant development. We're going to learn a little bit more about that in the coming hours. But what we do now know from government officials is that the swearing-in ceremony, which was supposed to be getting underway just a few minutes ago, has been postponed. Now, it has been a challenge, to say the least, for the Prime Minister, Issam Sharaf, to put together a cabinet that was widely either respected because of its technical capabilities, but also enjoyed a great deal of popular support in the eyes of the protesters. Uh, and he's been having these kind of secret or closed-door consultations with would-be candidates for the past five days. Some of those names began to leak out yesterday, and perhaps because some of those names leaked out, the reaction has been mixed about whether these individuals are indeed capable of leading this transitional period in the eyes of uh, ordinary protests. And so now we know that when he went to go to meet with the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces to get their blessing or their final approval, it seems that there was some kind of rejection or objection by the military on some of the candidates. So we'll certainly learn more as to why this delay is taking place, but nonetheless also a very significant development. Okay, we'll check in with you again later on that one.